Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, culture, background or whatever interests you. And today I have decided I must speak about the most important man in Ukraine and no, it is not President Zelensky. If you are going to ask a question, who is the most trusted, the most respected and the most supported man in Ukraine, you will definitely receive the answer that this is Valery Zaluzhny. Valery Zaluzhny is Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and for many people, for the majority of Ukrainians, he was totally unknown before the start of this full-scale war with Russia. I have heard some positive comments about him uh, being active politically, following the news before this war. And many people say that the decision of Zelensky to make him the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces was actually very smart, but nothing more. Nothing about his biography, nothing about his uh, standards that he wants to apply in Ukrainian army. So it was just like knowing the name and not seeing the picture of a person. But now all the world knows that Ukrainian armed forces are really strong and one of the reasons that that they have one of the best commanders ever. And there are lots of things that actually support this idea because he's not like a person who works or controls something from outside. He's very much into the uh, strategy. He's very much into that communication and he's really smart and experienced. So also there are lots of lots of jokes about Valery Zaluzhny and his strengths and uh, maybe you have come across them on the internet in the Ukrainian segment of uh, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. You can find hundreds of them. For example, like uh, Zaluzhny threw a grenade uh, and killed 50,000 Russian orcs and only then the grenade blew up. Um, I hope I pronounced the word correctly, but this is this stuff that you throw it and it uh, blows up. Also, for example, when um, Zaluzhny got coronavirus, coronavirus died. And I'm not saying all of them are really funny, but uh, many um, actually uh, demonstrate how important he is and uh, how many Ukrainians trust him. And you know, it is a special part of discourse in any country. I remember teaching my students about political discourse during the Second World War and there were lots of jokes about Nazis and lots of jokes about the strengths of uh, allies, the soldiers. And I think this is very important during this times and maybe later there will be an interesting segment of Ukrainian and European and global culture that will reflect this difficult, challenging, but at the same time, very, very, very important moments in the history of uh, our planet. I'm not afraid to say that. So uh, for me, uh, Zaluzhny is a very interesting personality. He is not public. He keeps the low profile. And I know that at the very beginning of this war, there were lots of polls. And according to these polls, Ukrainians supported him and supported him to be the president of Ukraine. This made... Mm, Zelensky a little bit jealous because being a really good president and a person that I respect greatly, he has this bit of jealousy and at the beginning it was pretty difficult for them to communicate. But luckily the atmosphere tend to be relaxed because it is obvious that Zaluzhny is not going to become a president. He is very much interested in uh, military and he's very successful in the military. And I think he can be useful both for Ukraine, for NATO and globally. And um, I believe that he will do many good things in the future and not in the political, but in the military educational training field. And with the landscape, it is obvious that I guess he will try and uh, be a lot for the second term. And it's very likely that Ukrainians will support him. Valery Zaluzhny comes from a region of Ukraine that is not really far away from me, so I do have some sentiments to that too. He was born in 1973 and he has lots and lots of educations. And I think it's really good because back in Soviet times, very often military career was associated with people that are not very good in education, languages, I don't know, economics, and then they choose the military career. Now this attitude totally changed. 
and like uh, thousands of young Ukrainians want to be in the Ukrainian armed forces, choose this career, even though it is war and it is really dangerous. So it's like real military career, not like you like it, you want to participate in it and maybe one day you will be sent somewhere far away. When war is going on in your country and you make a choice to become a military man, this is a totally different level of bravery, understanding of the importance of this profession and perhaps uh, the way you are ready to give yourself to all of that. So there are millions of thousands of people, young people who want to be part of the Ukrainian armed forces. And I think that the Luzhny's part is important there. His education is really good. It combines a background in the army sphere and also in international relations. I know that he speaks uh, other languages and he's very well acquainted with foreign military standards. And this is what actually happens, uh, have, helps us a lot. Because I think one of uh, the most important reforms and changes that are happening online in Ukraine is the fact that we are becoming closer and closer to the standards of NATO. And um, maybe in some areas we even like uh, running before of the rest of the countries because we actually check the weapons, we actually see the way HIMARSes work and it is not the kind of experience I wished for my country but now when we are already a battlefield because of Putin and his decision to invade and free an independent and beautiful democratic state, we have to fight back and the fact that our allies provide us with innovative modern weapons helps us win and uh, protect us from evil and we get experience that we will share in future and once again I hope in classrooms uh, on webinars and conferences but not on the battlefields of uh, Europe and to avoid this we have to win this war we have to stop Putin and his uh, regime so and actually the uh, position of the chief commander of the commander-in-chief was received by Valery Zaluzhny in 2021, uh, less than a year before the start of this full-scale war. And it seems to me if there were lots of people unprepared for this war, Valery Zaluzhny was definitely prepared. And uh, he is uh, very, from what I know from the soldiers and uh, people who communicated with him, he's very easygoing. He does not build this hierarchical relations and ordinary soldiers can ask him questions and he's very reactive to um, requests and um, he uh, wants to reform many things in the army. And very often he participates, like he not only plans most important operation, but he, he also uh, takes care of minor ones. And sometimes people are even surprised how precise, how accurate, how attentive he is to details. And I'm sure he is a um, huge surprise. He was a huge surprise for Russian orcs who did not expect such a person to live calmly and work calmly in Ukraine. And um, one more thing that I personally love about him is that he is the first Ukrainian commander-in-chief who was never a member of the Soviet army. So he was not a soldier of the Soviet army and when he became a part of the Ukrainian armed forces, they were already Ukrainian armed forces. So he was not intoxicated by Russian dedovshchina, by Russian attitude to soldiers and this is what he demonstrates now being commander-in-chief. Respect, care, um, openness, and um, like, I don't know, he is an exemplary person and I'm really happy that uh, he is our commander-in-chief and that the country supports him and that the world knows him right now. I also know that uh, even now many streets are named after him and he is a popular a figure in media, in music videos and elsewhere, but most importantly, he's very serious. He has a nice family, a wife and two daughters, it seems to me, one of which is, one of whom is in the military uh, too. And uh, somehow he is very 
uh, I don't know how do you say it, like easygoing, he is one of uh, people and that is very, very important. So I do believe that our experience and our people in future after we win this war and we definitely will win this war will be useful for the global security and uh, much of our experience will help to prevent similar wars and misunderstandings. But here not only military, political experience is also important. If uh, Putin seemed crazy to the world, we should have reacted because like our normalcy bias prevented us from uh, stopping this war before it even started. And if uh, Valery Zaluzhny is the greatest man in the Ukrainian armed forces, the greatest YouTuber and not only YouTuber, also a person actively participating in Ukrainian-Russian war and one of uh, uh, my favorite Ukrainian vloggers, Operator Starsky, has invited me for a live chat tomorrow at 8 p.m. Ukrainian time. And I have a special announcement on my channel about that. Please, below this video, leave me in comments what questions would you like me to ask him, because I will have this opportunity and I know that many of you follow his channel and were actually inspiring this conversation that I um, can't wait to start tomorrow. So I invite you to Operator Starsky's channel for this live chat with me and him. And please leave your questions if there is something you want to ask him. I will try to do that. Thank you for buying me coffees, for becoming my patrons. Please introduce yourself to our new project Soviet Misty Bank. That is a separate video list. And of course, Slava Ukraini!